Here at Eurostory this year, we've been looking at the future of armoured vehicle design. Behind me you can see the Euro main battle tank, really representing the pinnacle of armoured vehicle design today. We went around the show floor though and we spoke to some companies about what's <laughs> going to happen in the future in terms of mobility, protection and firepower, and we gauged their opinion. Here's Northrop Grumman talking about lethality. For future lethality, what customers are looking for is uh, extended range and, uh, and added precision. And uh, whether that precision comes from air bursting ammunition, so uh, round detonation in three dimensions uh, through, through time or turns count or proximity based ammunition, but uh, medium cal is going to be guided and uh, with guidance gives you that extended range. Since their early inception, armoured vehicles have had to have high mobility, the capability to go over rough terrain. That's no different today. There's many manufacturers here that are showcasing new technologies, including hybrid drives, and we found out a little bit more from Axeltech. As the commercial market begins and continues to electrify, uh, the military is going to look to electrify as well uh, to conserve fuel costs uh, and to help, help the environment. So Axletech has taken those steps by electrifying our independent suspension axle family. So I expect to see a, the first fully electric vehicle deployed uh, in the military within the next 10 to 15 years. One of the key trends now for armored vehicles is increasing digitization. So that will include new radios, new displays, and vehicle architectures. We caught with Talis here at the show to talk a little bit more about vehicle connectivity. What's going to be important for vehicles in the future is that they have to be integrated into the digital battlefield. So a vehicle such as Hawkeye, it needs to be able to communicate with other vehicles on the ground, it needs to be able to communicate with, uh, with satellites, with command, which may not be in, the, in that theatre of operation, perhaps with seaborne forces just off the coast. It's really important and that, that being effectively a node within that digital battle space, it will become more and more important. Of course, one of the key requirements for any army today is protection keeping troops safe inside the vehicle and that's growing in importance because of the wide range of threats that are now on the battlefield. We spoke with IBD about some of their solutions in this space and what the future holds for protection. Definitely there, there's a huge interest in active defense systems and it's uh, a lot discussed uh, over the different marketplace but uh, to be uh, clear it's only covering a certain type of threat. It's only covering um, Shape, shape charges, ATGMs in RTR warheads, and that is not the only threat you are facing in theater. So we are providing complete solutions that is covering um, signature management, active defense suits, reactive hits, passive solutions, and overmatch scenarios. Well, that's just a small flavor of the technology that's been on display here at Eurostory this year. If you want to see more on this and any of the things that we've mentioned in this video, then please head over to the Shepard Media website.